Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting math problem today, tricky problem today. We need to divide. We need to divide 4 divided by 2, divided by 4, divided by 2. And on the first side, this problem is easy one. A lot of students can solve it easily. Right here we have an option. So right now I suggest you to pause the video real quick and try to solve it by yourself. Write a suggestion in comment and after 30 seconds we will check our answer. So we have a, a lot of division. We don't have addition, multiplication and subtraction. We still have all divisions. So divide all of this number and write your suggestion in the comment. I swear you will be surprised about the answer. First of all, as you can see, we have division. So I want to show you two methods, the first method and the second method. Of course, one of them is incorrect and a lot of students do this mistake. So I want to start with the first one. So we have first, first method. So we have this division. We have four dividing by, by two dividing by 4 and dividing by 2. So we have this with, we have this expression. A lot of students do this mistake. They think that they, they can go in another order. So they can divide 4 dividing by 2. They can do that. They think that they can do it. 4 dividing by 2 is, is 2. And they can go do the same thing with this one. So 4 dividing by 2. They think that they can do this. And 4 dividing by 2 equal to 2. And we still have one moment. 2 dividing by by 2. If we divide 2 divided by 2, we will have 1. Because 2 divided by 2, 1, and option A, and they, they think that this is absolutely correct, and they they finished with this problem. But I want to show you the second method. So take a look closely. We have the second method. Second method. Second method. If we go from left to right, we have this situation. We have 4 dividing by 2, dividing by 4, and dividing by by 2. So we have this problem. But in the second method, I want to go from left to right. So let's go from left to right. We don't have addition, subtraction, so we still have division. And I want to show you more that right here, if we have multiplication, this, go, this method works in this way as well. We have division. So 4 dividing by 2, we'll have 2. We still have 2 dividing by 4. I rewrite this and dividing by 2. 2 dividing by 4. This is one half dividing by two equal to one, one fourth. And as you can see, we have this option. This is option C. But what about the answer? We have like two methods and we have this option A, right here option C. Which one is absolutely correct? Second method is absolutely correct. Because if we go in this method, we cannot go in this way because when we work with this way, when we have parentheses, if we have parentheses right here, we can you can start with this, and you can parentheses right here. If you have, you can start with this problem. But in this moment, we don't have any parentheses, so we cannot change an order. We need to go from left to right. We don't have addition and subtraction. We have division, and moreover, if we have multiplication, this method works in this way as well. Four dividing by two, two, two dividing by four, one half, and the last step dividing by two, one. Force. Really interesting, tricky problem. I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write a question. I help everyone and try to answer everyone. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, write any comment. You helps me a lot and inspires me a lot to make new really interesting, tricky, viral problems in the whole world. See you in the next video and have a great day.